few years ago I was asked to speak to a group of addiction counselors, professionals in the field uh, from North Dakota. They were having their annual gathering of the statewide addiction counselors. And one of the things that I was tasked with was to give a day-long talk on how can they as professionals, how can they as counselors be also good supervisors and, and what does that mean? So in a lot of um, treatment centers, especially addiction type treatment centers, you play multiple roles. So you may be a counselor and an administrator, or a counselor and a supervisor. Uh, so their conference was really geared toward the counselors and how to be a good counselor. What I was looking for was how do I help them to be a good supervisor of other counselors. A role foreign to many people because they were geared as you know counselors. So one of the things within that talk, we had to talk a lot about perspective and perspective shifts because being a supervisor is not the same as being a counselor. And yes, you can be and should be very respectful as a supervisor, but you may have to be tougher on some people and maybe not as forgiving that you might with your client. So a lot of this was talking to them about what skills do you have as a counselor as far as communication goes, perfect in a supervisory role. Now the skills you have as a counselor that is going to care for the other person, also good in a supervisory role to a point. When does that point end? What's you know different with that? And one of the examples that I gave, and I learned this from uh, another conference that I attended, was this short video that somebody played about an escalator and a couple people on the escalator going up the escalator and the escalator breaks and stops part way up. And the two people on the escalator are freaking out because they have a meeting to get to, they can't now get to their meeting because the escalator is broken. And they're standing in this escalator, can't move and they're yelling for help. And what that says for a lot of us in life is we get stuck in one area, but we don't look at the perspective. Obviously, if that escalator stops moving, then you just walk up the rest of it. They stayed there. How often in our lives do we do that? That we get stuck in something and for whatever reasons, our mindset does not open us up to say, wait a minute, there's another way I can get out of here and then go and do that. And what I was trying to help them to understand is that even in kind of the silliness of that, think back to times that you have done that. Maybe not literally on the escalator, but you've looked back after you've been through something and thought that was really stupid of me. Why didn't I know that? I should have known that. We've all done that. So using that as the example to say, when you are a supervisor, one of the things that you need to remember is sometimes the people you are supervising, even though they're professionals, may not always be looking at different perspectives. And your perspective may be different than theirs because your role is different than theirs. So you might have to take certain actions that they don't understand and they might not like you for it, but you have a different perspective than they.